Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video by yours truly. I wanted to take some time out of the day to explain to you how I'm going to be building my black swan. Um, she's a couple of days away. We're getting that double bonus of cavern relics. You want to make sure you're using it on the right domain. You want to make sure you're building the right pieces, uh, finding the right substats. That's what this video is for. Once they drop more details going into her kit and what it does, because they haven't exactly revealed it publicly, um, I'll go over the intricacies of it, the complexities of it, so that you guys understand how it works. It's actually one of the more comprehensive kits that can be quite confusing. There's a lot of yapping in that description box. Uh, but for now, you just need to be preparing your uh, Black Swan so that when she drops, you already got the build ready for her. You already know how she uh, she should be built and you're good to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over that. Um, the best light cone. She actually has a lot of versi uh, versatility in the light cone department, uh, unlike a lot of other characters. She can use a lot of light cones, but this is going to be one of the best options for her, Eyes of the Prey. She has one of those kits that's um, incredibly dependent on effect hit rate. In fact, she is now the number one character in the game that needs effect hit rate the most. She's even shitting on Silver Wolf's effect hit rate requirement. She has dual scaling uh, with effect hit rate. Um, and I'm telling you, you need a shit ton of it. In fact, to be precise, you need 120 effect hit rate. That's the number you want to aim for or try to get as close as possible to. So this light comb, not only does it give you effect hit rate, but it also gives you 48% dot at S5, uh, but it gives you dot increase. And she's not like Kafka where she's crit synergy. Her uh, crit is just not happening with her. Unlike Kafka, you can do follow up uh, crit synergy. With her, there's no crit, none of that. So this is like a perfect light cone for her. Uh, it's something I strongly recommend. But if you don't have that one, this is actually a very good light cone for her. Generally, it's a supportive light cone, Eyes of the Prey, that is. Um, but if you can get it at S5, it's base chance, which is down here. It can increase to 100% base chance. It's one of the most cracked, superimposed light cones I've seen. Um, but it also gives you defensive shred based on the enemies that you hit. Uh, her ult is an AoE, right? And with Ting Yun, you can actually one turn ult with her. So you can open up while putting defensive shred on everyone's heads with your black swan with this light cone and black swan furthermore has more defensive shred in her kit actually one of the most cracked defensive shred kits i've seen <laughs> uh so yeah putting this on her is a good thing the only downside of it is it has no effect hit rate which means you're gonna have to build all the more effect hit rate into her kit to make up for its lack of because you want 120 and that's going to be very hard to achieve because this doesn't come with effect hit rate uh so that is something worth considering, but since you're building so much effect hit rate on your Black Swan, this is going to be guaranteed to land its debuff, which is nice. Um, if you don't have neither one of these two, but you do have this one, which a lot of newer players don't, that's another option. I don't think it's as good. In fact, I know it's not as good as these two. It is generally an option I love because of the energy recharge, but she doesn't have a kit that actually needs that energy recharge. She's not one of those characters that really takes good advantage of the energy recharge it gives, even though her kit does have defensive shredding in it. This is a decent option. Um, and if you don't have that, well, then you're just shit out of luck. No, I'm just kidding. If you don't have that one, this is also an option you can use. Dot increase. If you're a completely free to play and you have nothing, this is free. You can buy it in a herder store if you save up the right currency. 48% dot increase, and then she gets energy back every time somebody dies. She's going to have dots on everyone's heads. That's an alternative option, too. But again, for me, I'm going to be testing this bad boy right here, and I'm going to be testing this bad boy right here. I'm probably going to rock with this because of that extra 40% effect hit rate. I'm telling you, it's insanely valuable on her. Now, Relics, Prison in Deep Confinement without a shadow of doubt. Best of slot. Best in slot, not even close. Now, you're going to have some of these nerds try to tell you to build the goddamn Quantum set on there. They, they, these, these motherfuckers stay trying to pitch the Quantum set to people. Listen, you can use the Quantum set, but it's inferior. <laughs> now, if you got the most god tier uh, substats on it, sure, go for it. But this is literally made for Black Swan. Like, this shit is so good for her. It's so easy to proc once you pop her ult. Uh, you get the 18% defensive strat, no problem. You also get 12% attack. Attack is very good for Black Swan. Now, what are the substats? What should you be aiming for? You want attack percent, you want speed, you want effect hit rate. That's it, that's all you need. Now, if you get break effect on the fourth slot, nice. But attack percent, speed, and effect hit rate are what you are looking for. And roll as much of it. Like, this is a nice little beautiful roll right here. We got attack, we got speed, we got effect hit rate. W. I'll take that all day. Uh, the next one, speed, effect, hit rate would have been nice if we had attack percent and break effect, but it is what it is. But yeah, speed, effect, hit rate, solid piece. Uh, this one right here, 
do not go attack percent no effect hit rate unless you somehow hit 120 or very close to 120 effect hit rate then you can run an attack percent which i feel like i, I don't know how the hell you're gonna do that but shit good luck effect hit rate is incredibly valuable for her as i said dual scaling so you want to go effect hit rate right here uh and aim for speed and attack percent in the substats that's it who cares about anything else if you get an effect hit rate piece that has speed and attack percent banger absolute banger just pray it rolls on those two substats and you're winning uh the next one is going to be attack percent or speed so here's how i handle this if I run an attack percent boot, I need to have enough speed to still go twice. If I'm running somebody like Ron May on the team, she can generally top off that remaining speed I need to go twice, which would enable me to get 43.2% extra attack, and I'm still going twice. If I run a speed boot, which the only way I'm going to run a speed boot is if the speed boot enables me to go three times. If I can go three times, I'm going to test out, and that's what I'm going to be doing, by the way. I'll be playing around with both builds where I'm running the tack going twice, and I'm going speed going three times. But in order to go three times, I'm going to need a dance, dance, dance on my Ting Yun. I'll need the Ron May in the second slot or a Hanya, uh, but Ron May is probably going to be better. Um, and then I'm going to need at least 150 speed or somewhere around there with my Black Swan. That's the much more difficult build. If you're like me and you got some pretty solid prison and deep confinement pieces because you've just been obsessively grinding that domain for follow-up sets, um, then you probably already got some, look at like, look at this, 11 speed as a substat. And this is the only high speed one I got, but everything else is, you know, pretty decent. But th those are the substats you want to try and go for. Um, if I put on a, like right now I'm at 83 effect hit rate, but that's because I haven't leveled this up yet. I'm still grinding out a, an effect hit rate body, still grinding it out. They're, they're scuffing me on this shit. Like they want to, they want to try and troll me and give me, where's this garbage at bro? They want to try and troll me and give me this shit. Look at this. They want to give me some crit value on an effect hit rate piece. Like <laughs> this game, man. But if you put a uh, max effect hit rate on her, switch this over. Boom. So that's a max effect hit rate. Look where I'm at. I'm at 110.6 effect hit rate. Uh, and I'm going to be, this brings me to the next thing. I'm going to be rocking this set on her. Damn. Scrolling for days. Uh, I'm going to be rocking the uh, pan cosmic commercial on her because the extra 10% effect hit rate is going to bring me um, to 123 effect hit rate. But not only that, I get a free 25% attack boost. But I want you guys to understand she has a kit that gives you a shit ton of damage bonus and if you're running her with how i'm going to be running her which is with ting yun and ron may that's that's bare minimum it's like 50 percent damage bonus from ting yun uh, not even crowned 68 percent damage bonus from ron may so we're looking at 118 percent damage bonus from those two and then we're looking at damn near a whole nother 100 percent damage bonus from black swan uh, like you're stepping into like shu yi damage bonus super overloaded on damage bonus at that point it's safe to swap out the win damage percent and go for attack percent. I, with that team composition, I'm going to go attack percent here, attack percent here, and attack percent here. I'm, I'm loading her up on the attack percent because we have plenty of damage bonus. So at that point, you start receiving diminishing returns. So we'll go attack percent here, and we'll put speed, and we'll try to get speed and effect hit rate with break effect and then fill the last end. Don't get me wrong. You can use wind damage, but I'm telling you, it's going to get diminishing returns if you're running on the team comp that I'm running on. Now, I would also like to mention that if you don't want to grind out the pan cosmic set, which I understand, not a lot of people grind it. It's in a pretty shitty domain situation, and it's just not a popular set. You can also use Frontline Glamoth. It's definitely a very strong option. And you can also use the Space Healing Station. Space Station, if you have a, where, wherever the hell that shit is. Where's it at? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Scrolling, loading. Hold up, we're loading. Hold up. We're lo what the hell, bro? Damn, that shit was actually in the back with Amber. <laughs> yeah, you use this one. Space Healing Station, this is the, the least uh, valuable option, budget option. But Firmament and Pan Cosmic are gonna be the highest value. Uh, I personally think you cannot put enough effect hit rate on her. So I like Pan Cosmic better. Uh, again, you also get diminishing returns on damage bonus with her. And I guess it can change. It is nuanced because depending on the team comp you're running, you might not have enough damage bonus. Uh, but with that particular situation with Ting Yun Rame, yeah, definitely I'd go for Pan Cosmic, get that 25% attack boost, which is nice. Um, but yeah, those are the three I would recommend. Is there anything else to talk about? I guess everything else is would be considered leaked territory. But that's how I'm going to be building her. 
um yeah you had to pretend this whole time that sampo was a fine ass uh divination goddess so I, I forgot to mention that but hopefully this video helps you with building your uh black swan thanks for watching i'll be making more black swan uh videos in the near future peace love and happiness i'll catch you on the flip side